got it clear now in the chat okay. what the next three samples will be. Will All right. Be, yeah. You want me to take over? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> unless, unless you need another break. All right. No, I'm good. ROV. Yeah. So we took that last sample at a depth of 2176. So we're going to try to get one more Niskin at a, in the plume at 2176. Okay. How's that sound? So the exact same spot, is that what we're saying? Yep. 2176 and that's the plume? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Me, 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 me. Coming up, Trevor. Roger that. How floaty is this thing? It's floaty. Wait, 2176. Oh, mm -hmm. so only got to come up two meters. Mm -hmm. And then drive forward. Get yourself right in the plume. Park it. Park it. Park it like a position. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, they can't help you, Jims. Nav. Yep. After this, we're going to, as quickly as possible, go and hunt for the sediment trap that we dropped. Uh, the new sediment trap, which will be well off to our east. Um, we don't want to spend too much time with the Niskin after the Niskins have been triggered down here. So I think you have it marked on high pack somewhere. We were taking beacon hits the whole way down. Okay. Um. What do I got to look down at you? No, I, I can see it. Oh. You got to do whatever you need to do there. But if you can be more right, so yeah, the I'm on the left lateraling, side, so yeah. it's right. Then I can. Is the beacon do still attached to it? <laughs> uh, I think it is, but I don't think it's sending any pings. Hey, you let me know when you're good yeah. for. Uh, Whenever you guys think you're most in the plume. Okay, as you. soon as I see it, I can uh, take it. You ready, Josh? Yep, I'm ready. Going for it. It Kay. collected. All right, Kay. now we can back out, get our orientation, then we'll go up to 2176. So we'll move up four meters. 2172. So we're going for. Oh, sorry. What? What, what were we just at? 2176. Yeah, that was 76, yeah? Yeah, and now you want to yeah, be at 2172? You at 2172. Yeah. Where's the... What's what's going on here? Trevor, that was number two. Yeah. Okay. Turn or something? Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Got it. 2172. Coming up. 2172. Coming up. Where is it? I guess as long as you're in the smoke, it doesn't matter. There it is. I'm going to start lining up on the Niskin 3. And you don't need me for that? Nope. Okay. I don't need you. 21.72, and I'm going to move, or you want me to wait before I move no, forward? You go do what you like. I'm all lined up. Do whatever I want. And whenever you guys think you're centered in the plume, go ahead and trigger the third nest in. Roger. Lateraling to starboard. You tell me, Josh. I'm just watching the ball. Okay, dokie. Okay. Where's the camera view of those over there? Yeah. Keep your eye on the ball, Trevor. Ball on the high on ball. Keep your eyeball on the on the balls. Looks plumy to me. Go for it. There's three triggered. All right, copy. That was three at 2171. 2172. 2172. 2172. All right, now we'll realign and we'll take a fourth one at 2172. <laughs> Can we do it right now? Another one at 2172? Correct. Right now? Roger. If we feel we're in the plume. I feel like um, we're in the plume. I'm as in it as I'm going to get. 
as you can see, Trev. I can see ish, kind of, maybe. Can't she? Ah, swing and a miss twice. Still good? Yep. Here Once we go. We're in the plume. Yeah. Triggered. Yep. All right, that's four. 2172. Kay. I'm Audi. Okay. Audi yeah. 5000. Nav, if we can make our way to the sediment trap. Stand by. Yep. Coughing because I'll smoke. Yeah. Okay. Do you have Can't an idea stop. for how far east that is? I don't see an obvious target uh, here, but it looks like our last. I, can, I ping. think I can find it. Okay. Keep zooming out. Uh, sediment trap land. Sediment trap land. 2306 on the left. Yay. There. We find a sediment trap land. Do you see it? Oh, yeah. to the west. Yeah, to okay. the west. Sorry, you did said I say to east? The east? Oh, yes. sorry. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm out one. of it. Yeah. Okay. Can we can we zoom in on the sorry nav on high pack? There's meth in the bottom left corner. There's meth autonomous sediment. And then it's hard to read because there's like a lot of tags on top of one another. Mm -hmm. Can you zoom in on that so I can see what that says? Okay, I think that's the deployment location, but then it drifted north. And do we have a location for the old sediment trap that we recovered? during the other shift. Old sediment trap. Am I not above everything? Um, that might have been this one here. Math, oh, autonomous, sediment trap. This is the deployment location. Well, uh, what's below? Okay. Takes forever for my screen of your screen to refresh. That says 2022, no? Yeah. Uh, so that could be the old one. What is it? What is that last word? Math mm -hmm. Autonomous Mountain Trap 2022-05. Okay. I wonder if that's the start or the end position. Um... Are we looking at this black squiggly up in the top right of your screen? Is that ship coordinates from earlier today? Yeah, that's a ship position. Okay, so that's probably where it was. I'm surprised they didn't drop a new target for the old sediment trap when it was released. But that's what we're looking for is the old deployment location. So, so the, the ship track is a good indicator that it was around there. The old deployment location or where it was so, on so the seafloor? Where it was on the seafloor, the old one. Okay. Like we, we de Yeah, we deploy them and then we go and we move them. And we want to move the new one to where the old one was. Okay. But we already released the old one. So I'm looking for the indicator that showed me where it was. Gotcha. 
when it was released to the surface. And so they would have been there earlier today. Mm -hmm. And so that's why that ship track is maybe a bit of a clue. Were you, Lynette, were you on shift when they do released the last sediment trap? Um, I believe so. Okay. Um, yeah, and west of the IP sounds correct. Yeah. I wonder what was up north here that the ship has spent a lot of time at. because we wouldn't have gone to our new sediment trap yet. But there's nothing else around there. Nav, do you have a way of looking up what the ship position was at a particular time? No. Are we just trying to find the sediment trap? Is that the next step? Yeah, we're going to go get our sediment trap. Do you want to just go look? It. Yeah, yeah, we are. I think we're on our way, aren't we? Nope. Oh, okay. Sorry. Nav, can we be moving towards sediment trap 2023, oh, sediment trap land 2023 mm -hmm. Sure. Thank you. Okay, thanks. I'll make a note. I was just going to sit there. get that from me? Uh, where did you get it from? From buddies that showed me a YouTube video one time. Of Final Space? No. It was oh. a cartoon? No. Oh. It's like a soccer player beacon another soccer player. Mm. I okay. kind of did. Are you guys it. planning to be up in the water column? For Around this here. I think we're above yeah. everything now. Okay. So. Yeah, I just send it. Okay. Bridge now. Can we move five zero meters 
two, four, five. Thank you. Is that what you want me moving at? Two forty five? Yeah. Um, actually pretty much west for you. Do west, yeah. roger, do it. On the move. Through the plume. Plumey. Plumey. Can I ask a question? Of course. Would the water in the sample tube still be warm given it's hundreds of hundreds of degrees hot when it's back on board with the ship, or would it be long cold? The water we sampled was like seven degrees Celsius, so not that hot. Um, you're talking it's gonna about sit, it's going to sit in ambient sea water for another at least two and a half hours while we surface. So yeah, it's probably going to be ambient sea water temperature. Yeah. It's going to be cold. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to go talk to a bunch of kindergartners soon. Ooh, that's exciting. I okay. know. Where, Where are they from? So? Kindergarten. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, kindergarten. Oh, nice. I remember that. No. The, they are the ones who ask the most <coughs> the stump questions, like, why is the sea salty? Mm. Anybody? Rocks. Because of all the salt in it. Lots of rocks. <laughs> uh... What is, what is it? Salinity units? Yeah, practical salinity practical units. Practical salinity units? Yeah. Jeb Siri unit. <laughs> My unit? <laughs> Whoa, well, okay, what? I can't believe no, it's not no, Jeb's no, unit. No, no, no. No, no, stop. I can't stop. believe it's not sodium. Yeah. Stop. And What's going on there? On you're pulling way. me? Oh, you want me to stop? So yeah, you I'm can low stop. delta because I'm strung out. I guess I'll wait. You're telling me to be, be patient? Best. Is that what you're saying? I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm just telling you the results of your actions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it when people do that. <laughs> Consequences. Okay, slow down. <laughs> Stopped, slowed, whatever. Slowed. Stopped. Slow down. Hey. Lansdale Kindergarten, Kinder Care. Mm, Lansdale? Who knows where that, that is? That sounds like it could be anywhere. Yeah, yeah. literally anywhere in North America. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah. like, isn't that like a suburb of Vancouver as well? If you said Landshire, I'd be like, oh, it's clearly from oh, wherever Dale's 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 in maybe. North And it's actually pre-K. Ah. And young elementary students from PA. What's Jane. PA? Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania. It's not a state. Yeah. yeah. I think I got it. Um, let me double check that. Got this it. One. Is that, oh, that's in decimal minutes and this is in degrees decimal. That's convenient. Um, My computer is like four minutes fast and I don't understand why. Hey Nav, have we begun that ship move? Yes. Right on. Um, can you drop a pin for me on the high pack if I give you the coordinates? Short. All right, 47 decimal 9488066 and negative 129 decimal 099229. Okay, and what is this for? This is our this is like our record of the old sediment trap location. So this will be like the twenty twenty two final sediment trap. Okay. This would in theory be the position okay. that we released it from earlier today. Or yesterday, I guess.
Yeah, so it looks like it's this target down here. Okay, yeah, perfect. All right, that's great. Okay. So once we pick this one up, that's where we're gonna take it. Okay, sounds good. How far do we have to go, Annette, to get to this sediment trap? Uh, you have about 25 meters. Roger. Thank you. Okay, the ship move is complete. We're just waiting on the swing. Roger. Hurry up, Trevor. Okay. If only someone would pull me. You told me not to. No, I didn't. I didn't tell you not to. I just told you the consequences of your actions. You know what, Trevor? I'm kind of sick and tired of this. <laughs> I'm glad you had that chat with yourself there, Josh. <laughs> Get it all out. I'm know. not. It didn't really go very well. Get all your rage out. All your rage? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I do want that. Sorry, guys. I just walked in. I haven't had coffee yet. Hello. Hello. Good Hello. morning. Buenos dias. How do you say good morning in French? Anyone? Bonjour. Is that good morning yes, or good day? That's good day. Bon matin. Bon matin. Bon matin. On maintain. I think we're there. About 10 meters north for you. North. <coughs> so this should be about 8 meters high in the water column. So just be aware. Great. Neat. Let's see if we can hit it on sonar. Mm -hmm. All right, you're pretty much right on top of the target I have. Uh, already? Mm -hmm. um, you're 13 meters up bottom. I know, but we should still be able to see it, because I can see the bottom. It does look like there's a bit of a target to the right. So back up and go down and look in sonar, I guess. Sounds great. Or just hunt around. Have we put eyes on it yet? No. Okay. We did get like a late beacon hit, but then the beacon stopped reporting. Roger. Okay, I'll come down a bit. Okay, you go first, I'll come later.
we are still kind of stretched out and I'm still on the go, so be aware of that. Now I've backed up, so you think it's back to the north, Lynette? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <coughs> anyone? Anybody? Anybody got an idea? Yeah, let's go north. Let's look. Okay. I think you're still camera racked in, Josh, if you care. Sure. So, search pattern Delta. Good choice. Pretty cliffy around here. Yep. <coughs> That's not going to make this easy. You nope. could Hit explain why the beacon is not hanging. <laughs> Because it's in some chasm. Because it's in some huge valley, yeah. You think it's down that cliff that I was just looking at? Yeah, the one to the right could be. AJ, does this look like the other sediment traps? Is it the same? It sure does, yeah. yeah. It's big and yellow and a big funnel. Yeah, let's go down there. Oh, uh, scary. Sorry, you're going down, I'm going to come with you. Okay. Dope. Dope. That was good. I guess let's go left from here. So that we're heading north, back sort of towards the beacon Roger. mark. Looks like there's a even further cliff to the right, but yeah, just more cliffy. Is that a wall to your right, or is it like an optical illusion? It's a hill? Yeah. I mean, definitely we wouldn't... <laughs> this <laughs> if we're down here, it would explain why we lost the beacon. Mm -hmm. But I don't see it. Me neither. I'd say keep coming north. Coming right under Atlanta. Atalanta. Get that one day. Maybe. It's okay. Just exploring. Hey, you having fun yet? Yeah, this is fun. So we can go come up and then to the left. I think to the right is maybe too far from our beacon Coming up, turn target. Coming up a little bit. Okay. Well, I gotta be completely honest. We have kind of looked all in the area of the beacon target. We can see pretty far, and it's big and yellow. Mm -hmm. Look at this guy just chilling, right on the on the ridge line, chilling like a villain. Bless you. Thank you. I 
don't see no sediment trap uh, Keep going uh, Roger Which way would you like me to go, Adrian? Uh, west. And turn on the light. Due west. Due west. Up there, worse. Or you can go, uh, yeah, we kind of drifted south. What's to the north of us? I just want to make sure that we. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Because it, at this water depth, the beacon air gives us like a pretty big radius, so. <coughs> And at what size circle did you just draw? Uh, it's a 20 meter radius. Okay. see anything on the sonar. All right, let's come west from there. Roger. Oh, another cliff. Who could have seen that coming? Literally anyone, Trevor. Oh, the sediment trap. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, Beavis and Butthead in the front row. All right. Okay, so here's the location that I have in high pack. Roger. And we maybe want to search like a 20 meter radius around it. Roger, AJ. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Well, I would say keep going southwest from here. Southwest. It looks like we Roger. just kind of missed the northeast corner, but I'm getting we're low already on our. That's fine. On our way. It's not dangerous. It's just low. Oh, little runaway tilt action. Here we go. Southwest. Yeah, south now. South, Roger. Tilt down. Yeah. Jeez, like it could be down any one of these pits. It feels like they're always cliffs down, never up. How is that possible? It's like an MC Escher puzzle. Yeah. Trevor, you got any sediment trap finding music? Keep it going. No, that's it. That's the oh, whole song. I was, I was gonna rap. It's just right, a short song. That's fine. <laughs> that's an amazing track. Yeah, thanks. Next time I go to sea, I should bring my tuba. You play the tuba? No, you don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I was going to freak out. <laughs> <laughs> Just be Josh's best day. Oh, what a bit. You play the tuba? The tuba? See, look. Cliff's down. It's crazy. Well, that's definitely cliffs up. Okay, that's Rocks fair. Rocks up. It's kind of a pit, though. Yeah, right? yep, for sure. I think that's here. Hey, Jay. Yeah. South? More? Uh, go down and to your left. I'll just keep putting wraps in your tether. It's going to bump the back of the vehicle. Bonk. 
Can you Maybe look left, uh, like down here? I feel like it was hard to see. Holy moly. Look at this knob. I know, maybe it's right on top. I hope so. I thought this was a camera we were currently, we currently had. I'm like, what am I looking at? That was weird. No, that's a uh, melanized interaction. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Event. What is happening? Fish. <laughs> like, where's what camera am I not looking at? It's like an underwater mesa. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, oh man, where could this trap be? What uh, depth was the beacon when you heard this last ping? What am I looking at there? I don't know. Let's go see. Uh, we have two oh, one those are the marble traps. Marble traps. Okay. okay, that's pretty bang on. So okay, so it looks like <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. So the nav is matching up with earlier today or er earlier dives. Okay, so let's. Uh, we've sort of covered this area. I guess we'll head north. You guess. Yeah. Draw your best spiral here. <laughs> yeah, let's see it, Josh. Draw something for us. <laughs> what would you what would you like me to draw? A spiral. <laughs> Search Search pattern pattern. You. Okay, so wait, you want me to go north on the east side of everything? Yeah. Roger. This is a very scientific spiral search pattern. Calibrated. It's good to see calibrated. Coming up slow, Trevor. Fine. When you go past me, I'm going to spin to the right, take my turns out. Okay. <coughs> Lynette, can you zoom out on high pack? I feel like mm -hmm. maybe somebody tidied it up, but there was like a track showing all the sediment trap pings. Uh, that was the acoustic. That was Dal, yeah. Lander. Oh yeah, you're probably right. Dude, so I guess we didn't do that with the sediment Oosh. trap on its way down. Right. It's a funky fish. Yeah. Funky fresh fish. Okay, I'm gonna take my turn out here. Is there a reason we just throw these yeah. over the side instead of guiding them down on a wire? Like well, we things? usually have a pretty good hit on their location with the beacon, and we just go get them. I mean, the wire takes a lot of time. It takes hours. It's like probably five hours down and up again. How long does it take to fall with no wire? Uh, it takes a while, but I mean, you can be you're doing other things in the meantime. Right. Oh no, your trail's disappearing. Oh no! 
No, stop tilting. There's nothing in sonar, eh? Like, you think sonar would hit this thing, but I guess it's just such a vertical terrain. Yeah, like, it's just pretty hit tough. Rocks. There's so much in sonar. Pretty I tough. Guess. What are the weights underneath it? What are we uh, looking for at the bottom? They are. Are they train wheels or are they yeah. small ones? They're plates. They're small plates. They're not train wheels. Like uh, dinner plates? Barbell? Like barbell plates. Door doorbell plates? What's that? That looks man made. No. It's just, no. just a rock. I saw what you're seeing. Rock. It's a good looking rock, though, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, pretty much been here. Let's try further north. What is that mark? What's the mark well to the south? This is Meth Autonomous Sediment Trap 2023-07. This trap was released on June 29th. You're living in the past, man. That mark was made today. Look at that little star. <laughs> Which one is that? That's not the one that matches the coordinates I gave you, no. This is south of that. I would have thought it was this one. What's that? I thought it would have been that one. Or wait, what sediment, trap, one? deploy. What would have been that one? 2023, the one. ROV, table one. From 1-1, one, one. this one here. Table one. <laughs> table one. <laughs> table one, that's the label I've got back here. Uh, could you fire up the uh, McLean system for me and I'll oh. start getting set up. Oh man, you bet Optimistically, you. <laughs> thanks. Check this out. Boom. So optimistic. Power's on. Thank you. You're welcome. Yep, it's talking. Superb. What are these wires hanging out here? Okay, after you do this pass, let's boogie south and try to get to that other waypoint. Boogie. Because I don't, I don't know what that okay. was. Let's this one down here. Spin yeah. around here. Okay. Where am I? Oh, I'm spun around. Earth. Thanks. All right, you ready for a move south? Yeah. yeah. Bridge nav. Can we move four zero meters south, please? Thank you. I'm trying to come back around here. What do you want me to do? Just, uh, you're good. Okay, okay. Nav, can we try hitting this beacon again? Yeah, it's 
standby. What's that up there? What? Up where? I see it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh. So it is where I thought it was. Good eyes. <laughs> <laughs> At the sediment trap deploy. Not yeah. the sediment trap land. That's what are we doing with this thing? Yeah. We're going to move it. We're going to pick it up and move it. So we have to pull a pin to release weight. So there's going to be two pull pins. And pull we're them both sure as fast as possible. Pull the right one. No. Oh, not the left one. Okay. Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, AJ. I'll fix myself up here. All right. So there's one set that's on a one meter polysteel line and one set that's heavier that's on a two meter polysteel line. We want to pull the one that's on the longer line. Understood. We're line dropping the gray weights, not the black weight. Yeah. And that should make this thing much more movable. Roger that. But careful because there's two pull pins. Two pull pins. And if we only pull, pull both, then it comes to the surface, which is not what we want to do. We didn't hold that there, Lynette. The surface. Sorry, say again? Could you just hold that position there? Thanks, I captured it. Sure. That is incredibly far from the marker. Mm -hmm. Let's just sit on this ready to landslide hill yeah. here. Ideally, yeah. So, so there's some pull pins, you say? Yeah, uh, maybe we can get some zoom. The pull pins are probably both up at the main shackle. Oh, Roger. But let's let's have a look see. Let's have a look see. What would you like us to do? If we could look up. Look way up. Thank so you for that ship movement. Not that pull pin. Not that pull pin. Yeah, you want to hold that move? No, no, thank you. Oh, okay. What you're doing is good. We want that pull pin. That one, he that says. One. Ooh, way up yonder. Well. Can, uh, we can pull it down and put Magnum and then... Yeah. Or I can fly. Or you can fly or maybe shimmy up and kind of side land. Whatever you want. Uh, what would you prefer? Two arm ops because I have to... That means I don't have to do anything. Okay. <laughs> and they're also fast with the speed of the Magnum lately. Lately? Look right. at this. You ready? What is happening? How are you going so fast? I know, right? Unreal. Are you okay? How are you doing that? Magnum took its pre-workout today. Took its Wheaties. Took its Wheaties? Ate its, whatever, you know. I did the thing with the Wheaties. Oh, ripping speed, careful. Hey. No. Just, isn't it easier to just grab all the crap, pull it down, and put it in, and I'll just close? Absolutely. I'm just getting the thing out. Out in a boat. I thought you were going like, to do the whole thing with the Magnum, including, oh, including the pull pin. That'd be fun. Be amazing. Maybe I'll do that. No. <laughs> Can't reach. Can't see. All right, and luckily you don't even need to tilt the camera because I can see the craft in this neat camera. The new Neato camera. Yeah, Neato cam. Yep. Uh, we're going to be releasing this one? Correct. Great. Let me just put it in the T-slot. Just put it right there. How buoyant is this thing? Stand by. I'm over it. 
You want to close there? I want to, but I can't. Yeah, great work. AJ, can I pull this orange thing? Can we get zoom on it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Magnum pull. Whoa, 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 stop. Why? I was talking to the Magnum. <laughs> what? Zoom, zoom in, please, video. It ran away. It was I, short. I was driving it. It's about 60. Oh, I thought I was driving it. 66 <laughs> kilos buoyant. <laughs> Roger, 66 kilos buoyant. Thank you. We got to work on our communication. <laughs> Okay, so we have a pull pin shackle here with a green yeah, I uh, that. pin. So the pull on the right will take the safety pin out. Okay. And then the pull on the left will take the uh, shackle pin shackle out. Shackle pin. Ernest, yeah. shackle pin. Got it. Uh, yeah. Come wide, please. So pull whenever away. you're ready, you can go ahead and do the pull on the right. Doing the pull on the right. Doing it. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Good enough for you, AJ? Yeah, how's that? Uh, you wanted this in the toolbox, or what's the scoop? Yeah, I looked down for a second. What happened? What do you mean, what happened? I, I did both at once. Yeah, the pin so the, came out. Did the pin it's, actually come out? Yeah, as soon yeah, as buddy. we pulled the safety, the pin came out. Okay. Just fell. So the weight's released? Mm, well, no, except it's, for it's stuck in the shackle. It's stuck in the oh, pinball, okay. yeah. That's Can incredible. You, uh, thanks. Toolbox? Yeah. Hold on, there's some stuff in there, and I got to put it down. I got so much to do. You got so much work to do. Do your homework. I gotta rack in. You're good on racking. I'm not going too crazy here. Go crazy! Hydrastics. Hydrastics. Pink. That's good. Let me just trigger that gas tight again, just for good measure. Let me just leave that right perched on the edge. What? No. Yeah. Get in there. Great Kay. poke. Thanks. Uh, the green pin is. Gone you for know, life. Gone for life, yeah. Okay. Never to be seen again. Uh, I'm just going to wiggle that thimble and see if I can get it to come out of the shackle. Yeah. And by wiggle, shack wiggle thimble, I mean... Yeah. Get out of there. Excuse me. What? Tell me somebody put that in there and they had to go like this to oh, get it Oh, 100%. In. That's what For happened. For sure. Yeah. Yep. All right. We need some wrist down action here. If we can hold it. Is the Magnum strong enough? Magnum's the strongest arm ever made in the entire universe. Yeah. Can I have some zoom in, please, video? Roger that. Get it roll this thimble out of here. Love that. Hey, AJ. Yeah. Just a note for future. Yeah. Help me understand. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yeah, Come easy. wide, please. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Yeah. Minimum viable is, I think, what you were, what you were looking for. I'm going to drop this here. Yeah. And that shackle is just going to be... Yeah, it's going to come, come along for the ride. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, do you want to carry this thing from the top or the bottom? The bottom. And hold we're it still way holding, out in front of us. We're still holding both weights right now. So, I'm going to grab it here. Yeah. Because we got to hold it away from our bumper bar. Yeah. Okay, I'm halted. Like a balloon. Jaw. Open. Wrist. Roll. Whoop, she's buoyant. Uh, how buoyant is this thing? Yeah, should we grab it with both arms? It's 66 kilos buoyant. You did say that. Maybe just keep your arm there so it's it can't... But I mean, once the tension comes on the weights, it's no yeah. longer buoyant. Roger, so give me a sec then. It um, might go of it, and hopefully it will not float. Yeah, I understand, AJ. I'm going to grab it lower. And re-grab it down here. And we're picking the weights instead of on the 
Where's that pull pin? Don't pull the pull pin. Do not pull the pull pin. Do not. Wrist up. Wrist up. Holy. There we go. What happened to Lightning McQueen over there? Well, it's just tired from his workout. AJ, okay. give it a break. <laughs> Lightning McQueen. Are we going to need this arm for any two-wire stuff, or are we just placing this now? We're just going to place it down, and then we have to go and get the beacon off the top, so we'll probably need it for that. Roger. I'm going to medium stow it then. Oh. Rockage. Rock. Let me just drag my name into the rock there. Nailed it. Okay, good enough for now. Um, I'm frozen there. Josh, you can do what you'd like. Uh, okay, well, I'll just go on vacation then. Okay. Are we going to leave these weights here? Oh, yes, duh. we are, yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Where are we going, AJ slash We're going Lynette. east. Yeah, Lynette, if you could chart a course to... No, not that one. The... The I'm glad one this is above lighting, it. Yeah, that one. Lighting up okay. that one key. Yep. Uh, <laughs> about 30 meters east. 30 meters due east. Roger. It looks like you don't need a ship move or anything for it. Yeah. It's actually there. Right underneath Atalanta. Yeah. More wraps? Nope, less wraps. Nice one. Oh Whoa. no! Sorry. You got, got it? Got it, yeah. Ah, you caught it. You're good. Right, I'm heavy. More, more up. That was cool. It was definitely on purpose. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, grip's locked now. <laughs> like when a little kid lets go of the balloon and it goes up to the ceiling and they start crying and you gotta yeah. get it. This is the reverse this of that. This is the opposite. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so where are How we tall is this, AJ? Uh, you're yeah. going northeast. Okay. It's about eight meters. Eight meters. Okay, we gotta watch the tether on that too. Don't come further left, Josh. Don't what? What? Don't turn, turn more right. This is gonna get all up in your tether. Uh... But I want to go. I know, just swoop, okay. swoop around okay. is all I'm saying. All right. Swoopy swoop it. Swoopage is required. Don't turn more left. Yeah, where you're going is good. Okay, I'm just going to have to lateral, I guess. Or just don't... Yeah. Let me, let me come up as you get closer, and then we should be okay. Okay. You want me to go all the way around Atlanta? I'm um, just no, you can, go, you can go now. Okay. Just, we had a... Okay. Extremely slack tether. Whoa. Uh, yeah, now we're really tight so the thing doesn't get all tangled up. Roger. It's good. And your yeah, arm is literally doing bicep curls. Yeah, you bet it is. Amazing. Probably if it's already in the tether. That's fine. <sighs> we did a bad thing? I don't know. Can't see. Coming down in Delta. How did it end up... what? This is really, really tall. Okay, I'm going the wrong way now. Yeah. Looks like an Atalanta cam, like the tether's running right to the back of her. Yeah, no, it's fine. So can I spin around or to the left now? Sure. I wish I could see it. I just can't see it. Hey, video, can I get an Atalanta zoom, please? Yes, you just can. Just about halfway. Let's 
go there for now. I cannot see it. Weird. Yeah, it looks like he's just carrying nothing. Yeah. When we place there, this, I can see it. Do you see the shadow of it? Oh, yes, I do now. Yeah, we're above it. Good. Once we place this, let's oh, yeah. definitely do a survey up it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, we have to get the beacon anyways. Roger. Whee! Okay, I'll come down on Delta, sorry. No, I don't mind being tugged. It's fine. Keep okay. it tight so we... Yeah, okay. You can come wide on Atalanta, please. All right, we're wide. So you want it right on this mark that Lynette's got on the screen, yeah? Yeah, there should be old anchors nearby. That indicates we're in the right spot. It doesn't I mean it doesn't have to be exact exact, but that's Well, we should have found those before we were started carrying this thing. Man. We already found them today, so how many times are we gonna go find them? Are they that's where the nav spot's marked? Yeah. Well I didn't know that, AJ. How was I supposed to know? It wasn't on shift. Uh, okay, well, we're on the mark. What do you want me to do? Look for these anchors? Yeah. Get yeah, some, coming down. some uh, semblance that the mark was, that I'm following the right mark. Uh, and it's not the one to the bottom. All right, uh, give me some instructions for looking for this anchors. Um, do you want to try looking south? Uh, most of the stuff that we've been seeing has been south of the old targets. Okay, Roger. Just gonna come to the east side of Atalanta and then come south. Can we move the ship a little bit, please? Yeah. I don't know. 15 meters, any direction. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like being right above the deployable float pack. Okay, sure. Um, move you north. Sure. Great. Thank you. Bridge nav. <clears throat> Can we move one five meters north, please? Thank you. <laughs> any direction. <laughs> I think south and east is a good indicator because we probably not put it on this cliff. And it looks like it's getting softer behind us okay. to our right. Kind of down the valley. Even the bias goes the wrong way for me. What's <laughs> uh, is that something in main cam on the bottom left? Bottom left. That was a crab. Oh, it's a crab. You can get this magnum out of the way more. Okay. These are, they look like plates, AJ? Yeah, most likely. I think just coming down the cliff is a good idea, even if we do just want to leave it somewhere. It shouldn't be on a cliff. Okay. Um, 
Mm -hmm. Which way is the ship moving? North? North. This looks more flattish, eh? Yeah. Flattish. Uh, okay, I'm inclined to just put them here in the sand. Put them here in the sand. You say when, Josh. Go for it. That looks like a nice sandy spot. Released. Uh, is that something in main cam over there? It's something. It sure is something. Okay, we'll take that as a good sign. Yeah, let's go get the beacon, and uh, yeah, Nav, I see you're taking a position for data. Thank you. Okay, you're coming up. Yeah, um, do you be have Roger. a naming convention for this? Yeah, this will be MEF underscore autonomous sediment trap 202307 <coughs> final. Final position. Uh, should we grab this beacon? Are we coming up, or what are we doing? Um, yeah, we've got to do some plume sampling stuff for Jeb on oh, our right way up. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Okay. There's nothing else on bottom for us. Okay, great. I'm out of characters on this name. <laughs> <laughs> it could just be meth. You could take out autonomous. Okay. It's Auto. kind of a given, I guess. I've never seen a sediment trap like it. <coughs> okay, happy with that? Uh, there's the beacon. What was that, Jeff? Yep. Roger. Oh yeah, it's probably uh, it's probably worthwhile. Were these not supposed to be bungeed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, ROV. If we could also move the shackle that's sitting on top of the center trap off and to the right after you get the beacon. After okay. post beacon. Post Roger. beacon. Is this yeah, beacon going in starboard bio box? Ooh, if you could fit it. Is this the same dive where we stuffed 48 beacons yeah, in there? Yeah, they're still in there. Oh, yeah, they're yeah, still, we're in still in there. Still in that Don't open yeah. it. This is a never ending dive. This might uh, just be worth pinning on the porch with the magnum. Roger that. Can we do the beat? Uh, what's it called? Shackle first? Well, the problem is, is that we don't want to put the shackle over by the like the Zeos beacon on the left. Yeah, I'll drape it over the right pretty far. So it's under the USBL. Okay. And sure. then grab the USB and get I'm out of I'm good here. on that position now, yeah. thanks. Okay. So what are we doing Thank first, Trevor? We're going to grab the shackle right in the middle uh -huh. and throw it over the right side. Over the right side? Yeah. Kay. Not over the little flag. So where do you want to grab it? On the left side of the shackle or the right side of the shackle? Just the center. Of the th I'm going to grab the shackle. You're going to grab right on the shackle. Yeah. There's nothing. You can't damage that stuff there? It's Not if I don't Can we close it. the oh, iris a bit be. here? Please, video. Thank that you. That would be crazy. That'd be what? Sorry. Sorry, you're not talking to me. No. We'll say oh, when I could jump Josh. on the scale if you want. I'm ready, Trevor. Okay. Got it. Okay. Get out of here. Okay. Um, Is that good enough, Jeff? Or AJ? Or yeah. Can we yeah, gonna tuck that rope off? I think that's good enough. Okay. Then I'll grab this beacon. Then we'll be out of here. I can just pull yep. it. Just yep. grab and pull. Yeah. Okay. Grabbing and pulling. Yeah. Stand by, Trevor. Standing by. Okay, Trevor. Okay, grabbing. And pulling. Yep, get off of there. Grip is locked, for real. This tire up's not wounded. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, I'm there out of there. Go. Okay. Whenever you're ready, you can put that on the porch. Yeah, we'll get out of here first. And pin it. You want me to land, or are you good? No, we're good. Good one. We need quivers for beacons. Beacon quiver. Uh, let's well, want me to stuff this in the box and just have it hanging out with gas tights. Up to you guys. I believe that if we put that in the box and it's hanging out, the gut. I guess that's will be looser. Yeah. Well, I think. It is. Well, eventually we'll put it in the Magnum and just. Yeah. Good enough for now. Let's get the Magnomius out. Magnometer. <laughs> Actually, first. All right, no sudden movements, Josh. I'm letting go for a minute. Okay. Not you. I mean the vehicle. Oh, dolt. AJ, is the plan to go straight up uh, from wherever we are for the recovery? Yeah, that is the plan. Okay. Straight up, bro. <laughs> We're very close to the IP and the larval Where traps. Where are you going with that? Tuck okay. it in there. In the abyss. It seems oh. like there's a preference for a grotto, but I think if we're in the right, general that area, Magnum that's won't, suitable. Uh, go around it. I don't think so. No, I mean, we, we can. We're, the ship is not very far from grotto, so it, if you want to be above grotto, we can do that. Yeah, let's go for that. If that's not gonna throw anything else out. Well. Yeah, we're already like eight hours behind schedule. What's another <laughs> ten minutes? <laughs> Love it. Um, so can we ascend near Grotto? What's the first step that you need to do something at, Jeb? Because we can make sure we're up above all the vents and move over there. Yeah. So the filtering starts at 2,100 meters. And uh, I've got an ascent rate. There'll be a couple of Niskins in between, but the first thing is 2100. Okay, so ROV, feel free to come up to 2100. And Nav, can you position Atalanta and Hercules over top of Grotto? Sure can. Thank you. Well, not my best work, but here we are. Yeah, I don't know. Don't love it. But it's flat calm outside. It'll be all right. What could go wrong? I don't know. Sudden implosion of the seafloor. Oh, yeah, seafloor implosion. Yeah, that's a right. Chasm of... Yeah, I'll just stop. Good one. Okay, ROV, are you okay with me to s start moving the ship? Um, Up to you, Josh. Where are we going? Uh, we're going back toward Grotto, um, which for you is northeast. Northeast, hey? Yeah, you go ahead. Okay. Bridge now. Can we move five zero meters zero seven five, please? Thank you. How bad does that look? Really bad or medium bad? Uh, I'd say medium to okay. Okay, good enough then. That's the standard we strive for. Yeah, buddy. Okay, she's wedged in there. Okay. I suppose I still got to do Niskin, don't I? Sure do. Oh, there's no way to do this wrong. Yes. This direction, Lynette, that I'm going? Oh, uh, yeah, somewhere approximately uh, here. Roger. And I got to come up. We're coming up, Trevor. Uh, okay, that's great. Is it? Yeah. What's the depth you said, AJ? 
2100. 2100. Thank you. Am I coming up too fast? Up too fast. I'm going to remove my sight line and set up for recovery heading. That means you can go do whatever you want. Whenever I want. However I want. Yeah. Sure. You're staying off bottom, I can block your view, right? You can do whatever you want. I'm flying by nav. IFR, Roger. Can't see. I might actually need the Zeus for this, these Niskis, because the Magnolias is in Niskies. the way. Which ones are you doing? Five and six, but not yet. Okay, that's all I got. So. Bonk. View camera racked in all the way? I said that's all I got. Roger. That's all you want. Mm-hmm. Bonk. Oh, this is tight. Rotate your jaws? Or is your I'm forearm? Just, I'm just standing there until we're ready. Roger. How about I'll just do my job? Yeah, you What's do that? your job. Why don't I do my job and come up on Delta? Nope, oh, we're recovering. It's fine. It's getting plumy. You see plumage? Feathers and stuff. Do so you want us to do two Niskins at 2100? Uh, the Niskins have special trigger depths. Ooh. And uh, <laughs> one's at 2025, 20, one's at 2000. Okay, so I guess we'll just keep coming up then, eh? They can be triggered on the fly, yeah. On the a fly. And uh, the sampling is going to start, sorry, the filtering will start at 2100, finish at 1900. And you need nothing from us for that? Take 30 minutes, other than a uh, ascent rate of about 6.7 meters per minute. 6.7, Josh, you copy? Uh. Sure. 2025 is the first one, yeah? 2100 for filters, I think. Yeah. For, for, oh, McCain. Jim's, Jim's doing his own thing. So I got to get to 6.7 meters a second by then? Yeah. Yeah. And where are we aiming for? Just a little more? Uh, Cursor-ish. Cursor-ish, thank you. Yep. Cursory. Now, do you mind uh, getting a waypoint as we get to 2100? Uh, sure. Thanks. Is there a specific place you want to be over Grotto? <coughs> I haven't heard anything more uh, specific than Grotto. I'll check with the PI. Okay. okay. It's hard to come up at six meters a minute. I'm going to dial that in right now. Roger that. Oh, it's hard for you. It's hard for everyone involved. All i got to do is turn a dial. Nice work. Keep turning. <laughs> nope, turned it the wrong way. Well, that doesn't help either.
I see plumage in Atalanta. Plumage. going to keep moving the cursor as you approach it just to annoy you. <laughs> like the carrot. Am I still am I still going for it? Yeah, sure. Go for it. You'll get there one day, Josh. Keep at it. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. You move that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think you are. Too much fun. I don't think she should be. I don't think she should be. <laughs> you stoked or what, Jeb? Seven meters a minute. 6.8 meters a minute. I'm oh, stoked. that's too slow. All right. 6.7 6 is what you want? 6.7. 6.6666666. 6 that's a lot of decimals. Whew. Well, just treat the first three sixes as the significant digits. Okay, that's 2100 there? Nope. 2105. <laughs> okay. Point six. Twenty one. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna nail this. Come on. Twenty six. Oh, too fast. Too fast. Too fast. I must be looking at something too else. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Slow down. And the confirmation the above down. Grotto is good, so we're in the right spot. My finger's over the button. So excited not for you, yet, Not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Highlight of my week. And... There we go. And... Hit it, Jeff. All right. Oh, that was 6.7 on the dot. <laughs> now you got to stay there for the next 200 meters. Okay. Shh. I've started sampling. <laughs> And you guys said you saw some beautiful plumage mm -hmm. as we oh, got yeah. in that area? Okay. Remind me, Jeb, I've already forgotten. 2025 and 200000? <laughs> For the uh, Niskin samples? Yeah. 2025, 200000. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. 20,000 leagues under the sea. C, 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 C. <laughs> did, did Dave eject himself for breakfast? Yeah. He ejected himself for pre breakfast. Nice. Jeb, was that a Wi-Fi password joke? <laughs> yes, it was. Okay. Now everyone knows. Now everyone knows. Data, do you have what you need here? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Thank you. Do you, uh, yeah. you don't need to keep a target well, here? Or? I mean, you can if you want. Um, it would be under the same code convention, so it would be like H19. H1980 um, PC um, what was that number? 0015. Like this? Yep, it's good enough. Oh, okay. I'm spinning it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Anger. <laughs> good at work, Josh. Just say your emotions. <laughs> Anger, frustration, <laughs> confusion. Hungry. Wait, that's not an emotion. <laughs> I'm experiencing hungry. <laughs> confusion. Can you drive forward a little bit? Yeah. Thanks. I've seen a lot of tether loopage. In the butt camish. Well, I gotta, I gotta stay in the same spot. Yeah. I can come up faster. Or the ship can come back towards you. Oh, it'll never happen. <laughs> That's impossible.
Jeb, when do you trigger your second filter? Uh, they're both running simultaneously. Oh, okay. So this one. until 1900 or something like that? Um, yes. Okay. That's going to be about 30 minutes in total. Thrilling. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? No, no, it's okay. <laughs> Did you say really? It's a thrilling. No, he was oh, thrilling. He thrilling. Thrilling. <laughs> yeah. thrilling. Thrilling. Hey, Jeb, I feel like we did this earlier in the cruise and we did not come up at six meters a minute. That's right. We reduced the sampling rate to 6.66666 meters per minute. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we found a small tear in the filters when we were running it at 10 uh, liters per minute. So we wanted to not blow these ones open, too. Roger. How many liters per minute are you running at? Seven. Uh, we did uh, tests in the lab at seven and ten, and it was fine, but we're just proceeding with caution. Okay. I'm going to come up on Delta. We're getting cozy. Roger. I mean, eventually you're going to swing right above me if the ship stays there. That's the dream. Nope. Not. Not a good dream. We got a ways to go on this. Mm-hmm. Are you coming up on your delta? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> I am not doing a good job of this. I mean, I'm doing well, very well. Oh. oh. I guess auto XY doesn't work when you have zero beams. No beans. Yeah, I'll switch you to USBL. Roger. Everything's looking good so far with the pumps. Cool. Probably say the delta of We're about 30. Okay. Slowing back down to six meters a minute. Jeb, can you tell us a little bit about uh, some of the data that you're getting through these pumps? Yeah, sure. What, you're, what this enables you to do? Yeah, you can probably see all over my shoulder. We got an old school kind of matrix type thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Characters flying past my face. That's just uh, feedback from the pump controller showing me how many liters have gone through the filters, uh, how long it's been running and occasionally I have to start it up again. But um, yeah, we're passing some of this plume fluid through a couple uh, filters, hoping to collect some material deposits on there uh, for the scientists to take a look at. Um, the details of this study I'm not too familiar with. Yeah. But 
And this is an alternative or uh, something complementary to when they take the NISC and water samples and process them in the lab manually through the filter. This is doing the filtering in place. Yep. Yeah. Filtering in situ. Yeah. Bless you. So we've done a few more on the expedition. I think this is the third pair of filters. In situ. And they come up. I very carefully put them in Petri dishes and mm -hmm. freeze them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll have to get a photo of you with your four screens in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Coworker with four screens is not messing around. Famous onion headline. <laughs> <laughs> Looks more exciting than it is. We just got a question asking if we are diving again today, and the answer is yes. We are doing, we are officially ascending, right? This is part of our ascent. Mm -hmm. Up we go. Um, and yeah, we will get the ROVs back on board, and then we'll have about three or four hours to turn them around and send them down again for a short dive. Not sure exactly what the time frame on the next dive will be, but it won't be a very long one. Definitely not like this one. And then we'll be in transit for about five or six hours before diving again. Oh. 13 meters, 12 meters to go before I can niskin. <gasps> Which is eight hours. Eight hours per minute. Per minute. Eight hours per minute. <laughs> <laughs> Took a minute, eh? <laughs> Wait a sec. That's Wait not a compute. minute. meters to go. Engage. Someone watching the Niskin cam, please? Mm -hmm. Good luck seeing it. 25.7. Four. Five. Three, seven. <laughs> Pulling. Triggered. Closed. Yeah, nice. Oh, how thrilling was that, everybody? Satisfying. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> Halted. That was number 23. <clears throat> Thank you. Yep. You label it zero twenty-three, yeah. Yeah, zero okay. twenty-three. Do you update your okay. whiteboard? Eventually. Cool. After this dive. Oh, I see. Not every sample. No. What is wrong with you? We've sampled about uh, 100 liters through the pair of filters now. 100 liters. Yeah, if the feedback is to be believed. That's about the volume That's good, of the right? starboard bio box. So there you go. Sounds like a good amount.
Do you guys want to hear a interesting question? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen one like this before. Um, good day, team. Have you ever packed food for human con for human consumption onto an ROV and taken it down a few kilometers? Wouldn't yeah. it be interesting to watch the pressure effects on various foodstuffs? And wouldn't it be cool to say you've eaten something that's been that far down in the ocean? I'll tell you what, you would not want to eat an egg that was sent down on the vehicle. I can tell you from experience that it would not be enjoyable to consume. Uh, explain. Have it you done stinks. that? <laughs> you pull up the egg and it, it stinks really bad. I don't know why. I'm not a scientist, but the egg that went down to depth and came back up did not smell good. Huh. And no one would want to do anything with that. I mean, doesn't everything smell pretty bad after coming out of the deep uh, sea? Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, six meters until sample. Let me get ready. I'd love to do a pickle. Mm, what are you going to do? Yeah. Bring a pickle down to depth? People do that with steaks. No, that's... Yeah. Pickle's where it's at. 2.3 meters to go. Now. Marley asked Hannah, the PI, if she'd like to describe what this study's about, and I got an answer here. Oh, great. 1.1 meters to go. Josh, you watching that Niskin cam? Yeah. Let's let them do the Niskin. Yeah. And pulling now. Thanks, Trevor. <laughs> Probably pulled. That's our 2,000 meter that's Niskin. It, that's all? Yep. Okay, I'm going to get this out of here. Uh, are we done this now, Jim? We're going to keep going. Uh, we're going to stop at 1900. I'm going to stop the filters at 1900. Yeah, I'm done. You're so 6.7 meters a second for another 100 meters. Yes, please. Craft arm, stow it and secure. <laughs> yeah, so the... Uh, so Hannah, who's the PI on the study again? Uh, the PI is Hannah Robotka. Cool. She's at the University of Victoria. Yep. Thanks, Nev. Yeah. I'm good. Uh, okay. She's she yeah. says they found uh, evidence of hydrothermal plume material thousands of kilometers off axis, so from the site we're at. Uh, they're focusing on the first 10 kilometers with sediment traps and plume samples to see how the mineral mineralogy and chemistry of the particles evolve as the plume travels. This helps us uh, to 1900 meters, yeah. This helps us understand and allows what allows for the distant transport of these uh, materials and how it influences ocean chemistry. And is interested in iron because it is a limiting nutrient in the ocean and hydrothermal systems may be an underestimated source of iron. Awesome. There you go. That is pretty incredible. It can travel that far and that they can measure that. Yeah. Thousands of kilometers. Thanks, Anna. Yeah, appreciate the, um, the science, because <laughs> now I'm getting questions about, would you ever try to sous vide in a hydrothermal vent? <laughs> <laughs> the answer would be no.
I got a bit more information here if there's any scientists listening and are interested. Um, Hannah says we've found iron sulfides and oxides in the plume at this height. We're currently at about 1,972 meters. And uh, these sulfides and oxides pull elements from the seawater, like arsenic, into particles. There you go. So there's some reactions taking place. Could that be like a detoxifying effect? Is that... Interesting. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not equipped to answer many <laughs> questions, but if, uh, if if I see something from Hannah, I'll be happy to relate it. All right, cool. I'm going to pass it back off to Mal and I for a second. Okay. I will be back. Okay, in response to Marley's question about detoxifying, the PI says these materials will not necessarily detoxifying, but will act as a sink for arsenic as the material falls from the plume and gets sedimented onto the seafloor. There are other elements that are involved too, all impacting ocean chemistry. Okay, we're just about at uh, 100 liters per filter and still going strong.
Hey Josh, how active do you have to be to get that uh, ascent speed dialed in just right? Oh, I'm just pretty, curious how much. Pretty, pretty active, Joe. I yeah. I was trying to do it with bias and just dial it in, but it's yeah. too difficult at that slow speed. So uh, instead, now I'm just giving it bumps of up and down with the verts. Um, and I'm keeping yeah. it between about 6.2 and 6.9. It's the best yeah. I can do. Oh, that's great. Human in the loop, right? Yeah. yeah. Quick watch change that video, two seconds. We are. Yeah. yeah. On purpose. Thirty meters to go. Can't hear you, Dave. So we just got a question about what the plans and goals are for the next dive. I do not know, and I don't know, probably wait until Megan or AJ comes back up to the van to get some details on that. Unless anyone knows. Nope, shaking heads, okay. 
We'll wait until the boss comes back. <laughs> And that's all she wrote, yep. You did a great job about dialing it in. That was pretty much her full half hour. Nice. Nailed it. So that was approximately, and I'll total it up later, but uh, at least 260 liters through the filters combined. Awesome. Uh, um, Dave, I'm going to stretch out and then start coming up as yeah, fast as I can. Yeah, that's the last thing on the plan. Thank you. Uh, y not quite yet, but yeah. soon. Okay, I've stopped the filters. You're coming up, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I gotta catch up to you anyways, cause we want to be even. Yep. And uh, yeah, you can take auto head off whenever you like. Now, I'll start to stretch out. All right, it's off. Roger. Okay, Josh, I was going to run downstairs. You know how to get home, right? Know how to get home, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.
Darkness. See what speed you're coming up at. Still only 15 anyway, so I'll start speeding up a bit. Okay. 